Commencing the 18th of June 2021, the U.S. government will be extending assistance to select units within the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, RSLPF. The force has been excluded from receiving U.S. assistance since the imposition of the Leahy Law in 2013 due to the alleged extrajudicial killings of 12 individuals by members of the police force. The Leahy Law prohibits U.S.-funded assistance to units of foreign security forces where there is credible information implicating that unit in the commission of gross violation of human rights. U.S. Ambassador to Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, Linda Tagliella-Latella, speaking at a press conference on Friday, explained that the U.S. government will now be lending aid to select units within the force. After years of review that included consultations across the United States government agencies, as well as coordination with St. Lucia, we have been able to identify a number of Royal St. Lucian Police Force units with which we will be able to resume full cooperation and assistance. This means that those units, such as the Marine and Immigration units, will again be able to enjoy the full benefits of United States security assistance that we are planning to begin as we speak. These units will be eligible for security assistance like that provided through the United States Caribbean Basin Security Initiative. This initiative seeks to reduce illicit trafficking in the region, advance public safety, and promote social justice. Some St. Lucian security units may also benefit from other security assistance programs, such as the professional military educational and technical training courses provided through the United States Department of Defense, state partnership program exchanges with the Florida and U United States Virgin Island National Guards, and regular maritime maintenance support through the United States Southern Command's technical assistance and field teams. This is only the first step. We look forward to continuing to expand our cooperation and engagement. An important part of this process is to ensure full accountability on allegations of extrajudicial killings. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney welcoming the decision by the U.S. government highlighted how this extension of aid will assist security forces in St. Lucia. The Prime Minister explained that the government of St. Lucia continues to work assiduously to ensure the complete removal of the Leahy Law. Access to the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative and other programming of the U.S. government security agencies, including Southern Command, will allow for, a, amongst other things, the effective rollout of the border security agency that is being established. Fundamentally, the revision of the blanket policy that denied our law enforcement personnel access to U.S. funded training is welcomed and this is a step in the right direction. This administration will continue to provide all the support necessary to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, which is in charge, which is charged with investigations into the allegations of wrongdoing. We're also committed to providing all the necessary support to our law enforcement professionals charged with keeping us all safe. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy expressing gratitude to the U.S. government indicated that this support will aid immensely in the RSLPF's fight against crime. We are pleased that Your Excellency has announced the lifting of certain conditions of the lay imposition and has agreed that certain departments in the, in the force will be receiving further assistance. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy speaking there.